The action continuing in the arena, and we are about to welcome over 160 dogs into the main arena here at Crufts. This is the Breeders' Competition final. The competition's been going since 2009 and brings together the best and the most talented breeders of the pedigree dogs and gives them a chance to show what they're capable of uh, and just to show off their pedigree stock. We're going to see teams of three and four dogs, all of the same breed, bred by the same breeder. Frank Kane is alongside me. And Frank, we're starting here with our team of Lata Apso. Yes, they're from, they're from the Dementia Kennel, all gold and white, and uh, costumes to match. Well, that's one of the intriguing things about this competition. We will see the, the presentation effect, won't we, of the, the handlers in costume to be a team. And here come the miniature schnauzers, the Pembro Kennel. All pepper and salts, very smart. These are Tibetan spaniels from the tor from Torfness. The Torfness kennel. Uh, it's important to say that the costumes don't get marks. They, they're judged on the quality and the even quality of the dogs in the group. Here are the Tibetan spaniels coming in. Now this is an interesting breed, Frank. It's the Sholo. It's Quintley from the Sangre Real kennel. Yes, a very primitive breed, the Aztec breed, and followed by the Cotton de Tulliars, Cool Cotton Kennel from Steve and Joe Ward in the, in the north of England. Italian Greyhounds, the little miniature sight hounds, these from the Art Mace Kennel. Very elegant, high stepping, very even in type, these. All fawns with white trim. Our uh, famous kennel here, the Pomeranians from the Lyriva kennel of Avril Kothira Purdy. Now, just to show her that she can get good type in all of the colours, some orange and one little black one, yes. They were the winners last year, the Lyriva kennel. Uh, the pug team of four here from Rodanash and Kath Story, the breeder. A very successful kennel. Now striking the Bracco Italianos from the Gunsin kennel. Italian gun dog breed. And another gun dog breed, the German wire-haired pointer. Mrs. McC Maxine McCulloch and her Kimax kennel from Merseyside. And here's another gun dog, the Hungarian Vizlers from the Vizlania kennel, striking russet gold, hunt point and retrieve gun dogs. Ah, yes, Chesapeake Bay Retrievers, real workers. And here, another retriever breed, the curly coated retrievers. Flat-coated retrievers coming in. Uh, Jenny Campbell's uh, the breeder here. People will know her from Dragon's Den. And the flying peak kennel of Labradors, three black Labradors coming across the green mat now. These are the Nova Scotia duck tolling retrievers from the Usenit kennel. The web footed swimmers. And here the Irish water spaniels rolling in with his wagging tails. These are the Welsh Springer spaniels. Three generations of handlers here at the Shan Angel kennels. And a very young handler there as well. Ah, uh, he's striking power. The Alaskan Malamutes, yes, the Sam Joe Kennel, this is perfect. There are two teams of Canadian Eskimo dogs here this evening from the Acna Kennel, uh, Rachel Bailey, the breeder. Again, the variety of colour shown in this team too. And here's the second team from the Kimukta Kennel, so this one all black, black and white. 
Portuguese water dogs, unmistakable with those shaved hind quarters. These from the Belleville Kennel. One brown and three black ones. Yes, the evenness of type in all the colours. Siberian Huskies from the Inshuk Kennel. Now, first of the two teams of Bearded Collie. Here they are, the Iris Edition, the BBD's Kennel. Some very excitable Bearded Collies leading the team out as well. You often hear the handlers talking about it can be chaos out in the arena. These are the, the second group from the Iris Edition. A uh, mother and three puppies in this particular team. Now the French herding dogs, the Briards coming in, the Foster Brie Kennel. Here come the Catalan Sheepdogs, a rare breed. It's the first time that this breed has made an appearance in the breeders' competition here at Crufts from the Starwell Kennel. Ah, the Irish Terriers. What a, what a four russet red, the uh, raciest of the terrier breeds. This team is from the Talanors Kennel, the Manchester Terriers. Three of these dogs are brother and sister. Jill Knight, the breeder. And here are the Scottish Terriers, the Divadel Kennel. Miss Norton, the breeder there. These are the soft-coated Wheaton Terriers. All four of these are UK champions, all well, from the Silkcroft Kennel. That's formidable, eh? Four champions to represent the breeder. Remarkable achievement. Ah, uh, the, the Petit Bassett Griffin Vaudien, very lively, very smart, aren't they? That's the Earlian Kennel. For a team of little dogs, these are getting a warm welcome in the arena. The miniature smooth at Dachshund from the Mumisami kennel. And very smart and all in unison there as they come across. That's a very, very nice style, eh? Here are the Harriers. It's the first time for the Harriers in here. Charlotte Farrar is the breeder and her Hennessy Harriers. It's such a spectacle in this arena, seeing all these teams come out. And this only adds to it the team of Irish Wolfhounds. And three of these four are champions as well from the White Orchard. And two Wheaton ones, the lighter colours. They're the rarer colour in the breed. And now the Prior Park Rhodesian Ridgebacks. Very stylish, full of confidence, lovely team means we just have one more team to come into the arena and probably appropriate on International Women's Day an all-female team here uh, mum and three daughters and the handlers as well <laughs> yes and very and look the elegance and grace of the whippets you can never miss it can you the whippets from the Tiggs Isle kennel and Kathy Williams the breeder so all our teams are in the arena, uh, all taking their position. And what a sight that is. The, the it, variety of breeds, the, the colours of the handlers as well just adds to the spectacle. It's a great spectacle, yes. And of course, the, the judge will have been looking for evenness of type and quality throughout the group. That they have to be even, not just two good ones and a couple of mediocre ones. They want even quality throughout. It's what's called keeping the breed type. It, it stamps the hallmark of a kennel, that they have this a special type in the breed. So our judge is Sharon Pinkerton. She has had a chance to have a close look at all these teams uh, already. So she does have an idea of who she wants her shortlist to be. So she will be uh, calling these out uh, as we go. Sharon herself, a very, very successful breeder of German wirehead pointers had many champions and group winners. So this is all about sameness of, of type, being able to show that as a breeder you can achieve consistency in your breeding, but which Frank, 
we still have a team here, as we're seeing, of males, females, and of different ages. Ab absolutely, but it, it's, the, it's the type which is important, the similarity of type, evenness of quality. And it's worth pointing out that the costumes of the handlers have no bearing on the outcome. It, it adds to the spectacle, it makes you look part of a team, but it's more for the handlers it, and our benefit. It was the Scandinavian dog shows that really got the breeders' groups going, and it, it's a great spectacle there, and it's taken on here, the, the handlers getting into the mood with the, you know, the identical outfits to give this a sort of smartness of presentation. And it really does help to highlight some of those breeds which numbers have fallen down over the years. There's a number of vulnerable breeds in the arena, the Harrier not least being, being one of those, and the Irish Wolfhound, both on the vulnerable breed list. And here comes the shortlist. I think we're getting the shortlist now. It's the Italian Greyhounds, Joe, An Joe Ansel's Artemis Kennel. The miniature sight hound. Oh, Jenny Campbell is being brought out. She's a very keen exhibitor. She's been showing the flat coat for some years now and just become a championship show herself. That's Jenny on the nearest side here with her run of all flat coated retrievers. Next group out, it's the Stainegate Irish Water Spaniels with Judith Carruthers. So there we are. And the third of our groups, our shortlist there. Oh, and out come the Portuguese water dog are shortlisted here from the Belleville Kennel. Unmistakable they, with that trim, isn't it? Kathy, the line trim. Kathy Morgan Thomas closest to us. They live in Doncaster, near, near Doncaster. And here's the Foster Brie Briards, the herding breeds from France. Next. Also shortlisted, the soft-coated Wheaton Terrier. Four champions, that's fielding a strong team, isn't it? Formidable, formidable. <laughs> Silk Crofter, a top terrier breeder over the last couple of years. And look, here comes those smart, miniature smooth Dachshunds. Isn't that good? Perfectly in unison. S steps from the handlers, steps from the dogs. Marvellous. And we've also got the Rhodesian Ridgebacks coming out to join the shortlist. Uh, the African uh, line dogs, as they were originally they were to for do. They were for tracking line, yes, yes. So we have our shortlist, Frank, and well, there are some wonderful, wonderful examples of the breed there. And in fact, that all these, all these teams, the fact that they've made it to this Breeders' competition final at Croft. It's a fabulous exhibition of and, what can be achieved. And they've had to qualify throughout the year, so it's a great achievement to get here in the first place. Then, of course, the competition is very tough because they've all been winners. Well, now it's going to be time for the judge to take a closer look uh, at the shortlisted teams. And what might we expect to happen here, Frank? Will she ask the teams to, to move and get a closer yes, look at I, in motion as well? I think she'll, uh, when, when the ring is cleared from the, uh, the runners up, we'll uh, have the chance to see that the win these shortlisted teams moving in profile and up and down to check the soundness and style of their movement, that it's correct and typical for the breeds. And there, there she's moving around the. Um, Italian greyhounds now to look at them in profile to see the curving lines which are desirable in the Italian greyhound and now look front on she's looking for this deep chest narrow front and fine bone and then she's moving them now watching them go away from her to see the soundness of the hind action and even though this is a team competition, Frank, it doesn't matter. The judge isn't looking for them to be moving in unison, per se, is it? It's not about uh, formation, but it is about the individual yes. dogs. It's not about it? choreography. It's, no. it's, a, it's about soundness and the correct movement for the breed. High stepping in the Italian Greyhounds, very important. And I think she'll send them round, which is very important. The curving lines of the breed, the slight rise over the loin, the fall away to the croup. There should be a series of curves, elegance. And look at the high stepping, very stylish movement on these dogs going in profile. Well, Joanne Amsel is the, the breeder at uh, the Art Mace Kennels and has been breeding pedigree dogs for some 50 years and has been coming to Crufts for the last 30 as well. So knows her way around the exhibition centre, yes. that's for sure. 
And these four started in the breeders' competition last year at just six months old. But now we move on to the flat-coated retrievers. Uh, these from the Rona, the Rona Borg kennel, and of course uh, led by Jenny Campbell. Yes, the, the stylish flat coats. This should be streamlined, flowing lines on the flat-coated retriever and the ever-wagging tail. Nicely moulded heads. And again, sending them round to see that they all hold their top lines, that they've all got a long, free-striding gait, ground-covering and economical. And of course, four black ones here, but you can get liver. That's right. And the flat-coated retriever. Well, these ones are known for loving life and living life to the full, is the way Jenny Campbell describes her team. They're always, always smiling, the flat coats, always happy. Right, the Irish Water Spaniels getting a run out here. Judith Carruthers, the breeder, the Stainegate Kennel. Yes, she's she's won gun dog groups at Crufts before with the Irish Water Spaniels, so uh, very successful. She's got lovely types. She's used some American bloodlines in her kennel. Great temperaments. Here we've got uh, pet names Chester, Aoife, Fraggy and Katie. So they're real characters. And of course, most of them spend their lives as pet dogs, doubling up at the weekend at dog shows. So enjoying this big ring atmosphere. I'm sure they are. <laughs> Bred, of course, for waterfowling uh, originally. And that's that thick, uh, woolly texture of the coat. And a, and a solid dog underneath them. And here's another one with a coat on top and a solid dog underneath. It's the Portuguese water dogs from the Belleville kennel of Cathy Thompson Morgan, based near Doncaster, also very successful in Norfolk Terriers. Cathy on this side, again, the, the, this is her second breed in which she's been very successful as well. Here we should brought a team of Claudia, Vidas, Lily and Daisy. So, not very Portuguese names, but they're, <laughs> they're lovely dogs. Again, they were water dogs that could bring in the nets for fishermen. They could also retrieve, and this is a functional cut. They've got this mane of hair over the four quarters, the plume tail, and the clipped hind quarters to allow them to propel through the water. And Claudia, the eldest of the four, 12 years old, leading out. Yes, and she's a very famous champion, so that's a lovely quality group. Well, these are an impressive sight, Frank, aren't they? The team of Briards from Fosterbury Stable. We've got Ethan, Hope, Vega, and Georgia, who are son, mother, brother, and sister. So a family affair for and, the Briards. And this is a kennel which has had a, a, a long tradition of success at Crofts and all the championship shows. Here we've got two fawns and two blacks. So it's a very interesting breed, you know, they come from the, the brie that's where the cheese comes from and they were herding dogs. They have, the breed peculiarities is that they have this slight crochet hook at the end of the tail and double dew claws on the back legs. And of course the judge will be looking for all of these details in the general type and quality of the breed here. So remember it's about uniformity across the team to show that the, the breed standard is represented in the same way across the team of dogs. So the soft-coated Wheaton Terriers, these from the Silk Cross, uh, Silkcroft stable, and these the kennel rather. And we mentioned Frank that these are all champion dogs. One of them very eager as well to get going. Yes, and they, of course it's a, it's a breed which gets its its name describes the features: soft-coated, silky textured coat. Wheaton, the colour, any shade of ripening wheat, says the standard. And there they go. Really free striding, very happy breed, one of the national breeds of Ireland. The Silkcroft Silk were well, the top terrier breeder in 22 and 23. And had an awful lot of success as a kennel. Christopher and Cheryl Satherley at Silkcroft. And here's a little smooth miniature. Drop it right down in size. And literally onto the carpet but, there but, for the handlers. But aren't they alert? Aren't they enjoying the procedures looking round? Are you looking at me, they're saying? Are you looking at us? So, yes, again, we want these dogs to be even in type, and that is for the Dachshunds. Uh, moderately long in the body, some ground clearance so they can cover the ground. And isn't this covering the ground very well? There's a very nice quality group with great temperaments. Again, not phased at all by the occasion. These have been very well schooled. And the, the Mumisami <laughs> kennel uh, is a very small family show kennel based in the 
Cumbrian countryside. And here we have a very nice team of Roly, Nola, Beth and Reba. So what a nice group they are. Apparently, uh, Roly loves showing when he's not on the scent of a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yes, wired to work. Oh, oh one's <laughs> taking a pause. <laughs> The Rhodesian Ridgebacks then the final team to move around the ring at this first time of asking by our judge Sharon Pinkerton. And these really are magnificent in breed, aren't they? Just look at the, the stature of them. Yes, athletic and strong. And this ridge of hair running along the back, a breed feature. The, the hair runs in the reverse direction, which gives them the name Ridgeback. They were for tracking lions, so they should be strong, courageous and athletic. These are very striking. They come in this wheaten or slightly golden colour. Striding out nicely. Uh, Heidi Parsons has been breeding the breed for 28 years now and has had a lot of champions. So very successful and has kept that line going. Now two are liver nose and two are black nose, which is purposely chosen by Heidi Parsons, she said, just to show that full spectrum of colours across the breed. Yes, the lighter coat sometimes carries lighter pigment on the nose, yes. So, Sharon Pinkerton needs to make her decision now as to who is going to win this breeders' competition final. Well, this will be a hard one to call, I think, uh, Ali. Who will she move towards? Looking for that uniformity, breed standard across the team. Who will she turn to? Concentration, concentration. She's moved forward, and well, it is the Portuguese water dog. The Belleville Kells of Cathy Thompson Morgan. That's in a very happy group. And in second place, the Rhodesian Ridgebacks um, move forward. They're delighted with that. Very smart. And the soft-coated Wheatons come forward, the Silkcroft Kennel. But the winners, oh, absolute delight. Uh, Jenny Campbell's getting to fourth spot here with the flat-coated Retrievers. So she'll be very happy with that. She's become a really keen exhibitor. It's the Belleville Kennel. Hello, Frank. And Cathy Thompson-Morgan, the Portuguese water dogs including a 12-year-old and a 10-month-old in that particular team. But what a lineup that has been. And it really does highlight you know, what can be achieved as a breeder. And I wonder how many generations of breeding go into that set. Yes, marvellous, from 12 to 10 months. And Sharon, the judge, having a word with them, congratulating them. That's Claudia, Vidas, Laura, and Daisy. I just wonder how much time's taken over that clip as well, getting them into tip-top condition uh, to just show a wonderful match with the breed standard and, and the being able to achieve that across all four dogs. Big, big rounds of applause. It's a, almost a full house tonight here at the NEC. Really enthusiastic about the dogs. So big congratulations to Cathy Thompson, Morgan and Ed Morgan as well. And the team of handlers, because they work so hard to get the dogs That's into shape. And it's all worth it, isn't it, when you step out onto the green carpet and special pick moment. up this award. A real highlight in any breeder's career. Photo calls <laughs> going on now. Getting them to stand still for a photo <laughs> call is a little harder, Frank. <laughs> Yeah. So for many of the, the, the handlers, it's their first time in the main arena at uh, Cross, which is a special experience, but they've all coped very well, made a great spectacle for all of us. It's quite a step up, isn't it, from the, the show rings in the outer to then coming in under the, the bright lights, the big stands either side of you, <laughs> the both light. handlers and dogs. And, and there are thousands of audience here tonight, thousands of spectators here. Thank you so here. much to our judge, our fabulous breeders, sponsors. And I well, think everybody who made it now. into the final so has done so well.